WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, folks. Four o'clock, uh, end of the day. And as we turn in the bend, the uh, Dow was uh, running to the high of the day, and the SP was catching up, and the QQQs were trying to follow, and the IWM was just right behind. Yep, we've got a very good session, Basil Chapman, here with the end of day, four o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network wrap up. We've got the Dow up 528 to 34,004. It was so important for me, at least, to look at the Dow as trying to get through the 33,900s. It just did that. Can it hold it is the big question. But now the 30, 33,700 area has to be really important support throughout the week. We're looking at the uh, S&P. And the S&P at this moment is closing at 3990.59, up 56, also nicely above the nine-period moving average. So neither of these crossed uh, negative. That's really important. QQQ daily chart on the left. Daily on the left, in the middle is the uh, weekly. On the right is the monthly. The daily went above the 200-period moving average. It's up 3.01 at 285.03. It's really important that the QQQ which is up 1%, not as good as the others, starts to lead. It can't just be lagging. You can't have the general going on, moving the, the, the troops when the troops aren't following. And you can see this inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart never went above it. So the gold contract, uh, gold contract is down uh, 20 at 1791, taking a bit of a breather after a really strong move up. Uh, silver is also taking a bit of a breather, but that chart is much better. Made that peak D in the daily chart. Uh, 2255 is a support, it's at 2350, a dollar higher, uh, down uh, 0.21. Let's see if that 2250 uh, area holds. Looking at uh, crude oil, crude oil is uh, trading up a little bit, up 2.43 at 7345. Trying to get to the 76s again. We'll see if it can do that this week. We're looking at the dollar. The dollar was up a few pennies. Now it's up 0.09 ticks at 105.05. Really struggling at the 200 period moving average. We're looking at the TLT. That's bonds. And bonds pull back a little bit. The yields have already pulled back sharply. So if bonds can push into the 110s, that's going to help yields come down a little more. This is important. It's important to be for the Fed coming up. Because if the TLC T spikes to the 110, 111 area, yields, uh, we'll see yields come down. But what if the uh, TLT drops to 104? So have a wonderful evening. Uh, Tom will be back tomorrow. And check out the final hours of the Tiger sale. Huge sale, 40% off. Check it out at my webinar coming up on Thursday. See you tomorrow. Have a great day.